fight that's upcoming October 14th in Davenport, Iowa against former CM Punk opponent Mike The Truth Jackson. This is a fully sanctioned event under the aggression uh, grudge match promotion, your promotion, I understand. Can, can we ask what I know you fought uh, in um, single discipline since then, such as kicks, kickboxing, but what was the 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 rationale that you decided to step back in to the MMA uh, arena, so to speak, after not uh, doing so since 2008? Well, Mike Jackson and I were friends. I cornered him actually in that fight against CM Punk. And uh, when the all the riots started in 2020 and all of the craziness, uh, Mike Jackson started taking a very extreme stance on race and saying some pretty harsh things about uh, about people who just had different skin pigments. And I kind of, you know, questioned him, you know, that this really wasn't in his character that I had noticed before and why he was uh, reacting this way and uh, that, you know, I didn't agree while, uh, you know, the group that he was supporting had legitimate concerns burning your neighbor's businesses is obviously not the solution. And he took exception to that as well. And, and then when I went to Washington, D.C., uh, just stood there, I didn't do anything illegal, anything like that, and uh, decided to write an article about me. And uh, the headline that he wrote on it was, Pat Militant supports domestic terrorism and white supremacy and, and ultimately cost me a broadcasting job. And, I mean, it was a, a, an attempt at character assassination and a financial attack on me. And, and, you know, so I I don't understand that that way of thinking that anybody would, would try to do or do that, wake up in the morning and intend to destroy another human being's life uh, just because you have differences in opinion. Uh, but it, it affected me pretty severely. And uh, I told him that, you know, I would, I would like to, I would like to have a closer discussion with him uh, because of what he'd done, and he basically said that he would walk the dog with my old ass. And I said, well, then we should probably make a date. And you know, his thinking, he's in his 30s, that uh, fighting a guy in his 50s is going to be pretty easy. Whatever his thinking is. Do Do you think Jackson was purposely creating attention to to get a a high profile fight with a, a UFC legend that he probably wouldn't get otherwise. No, I don't, I really don't. I don't think that that was it at all. I think that, um, I think that, you know, he, uh, through the emotional programming that the media has been using, uh, you know, I think that he bit on it lock, stock and barrel and that, uh, decided that, Anyone who disagreed with him was, you know, a white supremacist or a Nazi or whatever. He, you know, he called Jake Shields a Nazi. And uh, that's, I think, his programming. And a lot of people have been programmed to think a certain way. And, you know, that's sad. And it's unfortunate because it's, it's, it's dividing the nation and it's costing us uh, more than I think people recognize at this point. So I, I, I think it was, I think he was just being himself at that point. He had been programmed and he was running with it. What is your uh, strategy going to be in terms of this fight that will give the fans the details and how to order, et cetera, prior to wrapping up? But there, there's got to be a uh, huge degree of uh, personal animosity and hostility there. Uh, again, Jackson has raised the fact that, that uh, you're in your 50s, but have tremendous cardio. I understand your training camp has been uh, uh, phenomenal. What, what will be your strategy moving into that uh, fight to separate that uh, clear, as I said, personal animosity from what you need to do to defeat this man? Well, I mean, if, if I was in my twenties, thirties or forties, the fight wouldn't even be considered obviously. Uh, but I think I can win the fight any way that I want. Do you, do you, are you approaching this given the fact that, uh, again, you, you suffered uh, financial losses, career 
related losses does does this does this influence the way that you're going to approach it in any way at all or is it another day in the office for a hall of famer well i mean look uh it, it obviously did cost me financially it was a considerable impact on my life and more so my children's lives obviously but uh you know i've lost the animosity i've lost the anger you know quite a while back it's more about the cause that that people just simply have to stand up for themselves at some point thank you for watching the hannibal tv please like this video